Hey, what's up everyone? I am Roman and welcome back to the channel. So this is an NFT minting website where you can mint NFTs from your images. Uh, first, let's look at the demo. So here on the right side, we have a form consisting two input fields, one for receiver address and another for uploading image. First, let's add the receiver address to which we are minting this NFT for. Since I deployed this smart contract on Polygon Mumbai testnet, I need the Polygon Mumbai address. Let's copy and paste here. Next, let's select an image for the NFT and click on Mint NFT. Okay, it is minting. And here it is successfully minted. You can see the image you uploaded. It has become an NFT now. Then there is the transaction details. Click on it. So this is the overall transaction details. Here what we need is the contract address and the token ID. Let's copy the address and remember the token ID 68. Now on the wallet, if we try to import this NFT on account with address different than the one we put in the receiver address field, we won't be able to import the NFT. So you see NFT cannot be added. We need to import it on the right account. This is the right one. Import NFT. Put the contract address and token ID. And here we go, the NFT has been successfully imported. Now you can also send this NFT to whomever you want. So this is the overall demo of the NFT Minter. Now let's see how you can build your own full stack NFT minting website like this. For that go to this GitHub repo, I will provide the link in the description. Then we need to clone this repo. So choose where you want to clone this repo. Open terminal and git clone at the URL. Cool, now let's open VS Code inside Holy Moly NFT Minter. Here we are. Now first let's install the dependencies. Open terminal and type npm install. So this will install all the required packages for our project. Let's wait until it is completed. Okay, so it is done. Now if you go to route.js file, here I have mentioned what are the things you need to place like Starton API key, smart contract address, wallet imported on Starton. Yeah, so these are the three things you need to place here in order to run the NFT meter. So in order to get these things, we need to go to the Starton. Go to Starton.com, then create an account if you don't have one. I'll just log in. Now let's create a new project. Give the name and description as you want. Uh, then go to that project. This is the dashboard. Here we need to go to the wallet. You can also use Metamax, but I will choose KMS. I will choose Start on KMS. Give wallet name and description. So our wallet has been created. Copy the wallet address and paste it inside route.js in place of wallet imported on Starton. Now let's create smart contract. Go to smart contract. I'll deploy with a template as we already have ERC721 token for NFT. Choose ERC721 NFT smart contract. Then click on deploy. Now here we need to fill up some information, give any name you want and the description. Then give definite name which will be reflected on chain, I'll give holy moly nft, then definite symbol holy moly. On initial base token uri, ipfs colon slash slash since we will be using IPFS. I think I forgot something. Uh, first let's get an API key. Go to start on dashboard.
then developer add api key give any name and description copy api key and paste it inside route.js here in place of your api key ok now we need wallet address go to wallet and copy the wallet address and paste it here on initial owner or multi stick contract on initial contract URI string I will give holy moly NFT click on next and then deploy something is wrong Oh, we need to select the blockchain network. I will choose Polygon Mumbai Testnet. Then choose the wallet we created earlier. And now finally deploy. Next, we need to choose the speed. I'll go with the average speed. So our smart contract has been deployed successfully. Now we need the smart contract address. Copy it. And paste it inside route.js in place of smart contract address. Okay, cool. Now we are done with the setup. We have added all the required things. If you go to page.tsx, uh, this is the front end code for the web app. You can modify it as you wish. And now let's run the app. Go to terminal and type npm run day. So our app is running on localhost 3000. This is our holy moly NFT Minter website. Let's try mint an NFT and see if it is working fine or not. We give the receiver address. It should be Polygon Mumbai testnet address since we deployed contract on Polygon Mumbai testnet. Then choose an image and click on mint NFT. So our NFT has been successfully minted. We go to transaction details and you know we need two things here contract address and token ID so let's import this NFT on the wallet cool it is successfully imported so this is how you can build your own NFT minter website now we need to make this website ready for production for that we will be deploying this website on AWS Amplify and as well as on Netlify all right before we deploy we need to create a github repo I'll make this private. Um, let it be public. Now let's push our code on this repo. Oh, I think we need to reinitialize git for this folder. For that, I need to delete dot git folder. Now let's initialize and push the codes to the repo. Alright, so our code has been successfully pushed to the GitHub repo. Now let's deploy it. First, we will be deploying on AWS Amplify. So go to the AWS console and AWS Amplify, host the web app, choose GitHub. Now you need to select the GitHub repo. And finally deploy it.
Okay, so deployment has started. It will take some time. I'll be back when it's completed. Okay, so our app has been successfully deployed. Uh, let's go to our web app. Yeah, now let's see if it is working fine or not. Let's mint an NFT. Enter receiver address and choose an image. Then mint NFT. Alright, NFT has been successfully minted. Let's go to the transaction details. And you know what we need from here contract address and token ID. Let's import the NFT on our wallet. Successfully import it. Cool. Our web app is working great. We successfully minted NFT and imported it on our wallet. Now let's deploy our app on Netlify 2. For that, go to Netlify website. Create account if you don't have one. Then click on add new site. Import an existing project. Deploy with GitHub. Choose your repo. And finally deploy. Okay, deployment process has started. I'll be back when it is completed. Okay, so our app has been deployed successfully. Uh, first, I will change this name Tubular Boba. Click on site configuration, change site name, choose any name you want. Now it is cool. Let's go to the website and let's see if everything is working fine. Alright, cool. NFT minted successfully and imported on the wallet. So we have successfully deployed our app on AWS Amplify and as well as on Netlify. You can deploy wherever you want to. And so let's conclude the video. I hope you found this project video useful. You can build your own NFT minter website. Uh, get all the resources in the description. And with that being said, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.